Hello and welcome back to Sax Wizard. Today we're taking a look at minor scales. What's the difference between the four types of minor scale? The natural or aeolian, Dorian, harmonic and melodic. This used to confuse me for years, so I completely understand your frustration if you're confused by the difference. These are all really important scales to master, so make sure you watch until the end of the video. I'm gonna go into quite a bit of detail today, but I'll try and summarize everything nicely at the end. Okay, let's get into it. The natural minor scale. When musicians say the minor scale, nine times out of 10, they're probably referring to the natural minor scale. Generally, musicians don't say natural minor scale out loud in conversation. This is because it's usually the first minor scale that you learn, whether it's in your early instrument grades or in school music lessons. And for that reason, it's sort of the default go-to minor scale. For this video, I'm assuming that you already know your major scales. If you don't, then that's probably a good place to start. If we compare the C natural minor scale with the C major scale, there are actually only three notes that are different. These are the third, sixth, and seventh scale degrees. The natural minor scale has a flat third, E flat, a flat sixth, A flat, and a flat seventh, B flat. All the other notes in the scale are exactly the same as the C major scale. What I find often adds to the confusion with minor scales is that the natural minor scale also has another name, the Aeolian scale or Aeolian mode. The natural minor scale is the sixth mode of the major scale. The sixth mode is known as the Aeolian mode. Now, if you're new to modes, then let me explain. Let's look at E flat major as an example. C is the sixth note in the E flat major scale. Remember, we're talking about the sixth mode here. That's why we're looking at the sixth note. Hopefully you're with me so far. If we play our E flat major scale, starting and finishing on C, we get our C natural minor scale. The C natural minor scale uses the exact same notes as the E flat major scale. And this is why the natural minor scale is technically the sixth mode of the major scale, called the Aeolian mode. It's completely up to you whether you call this scale the natural minor scale, the Aeolian scale, or just the minor scale. They all mean the same thing, and at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter. Dorian minor. The next minor scale we're gonna look at is the Dorian scale. Here is the C minor Dorian scale, side by side with the C natural minor scale. You'll notice that there's only one note that's different between the Dorian minor scale and the natural minor scale, and that note is the sixth scale degree. The Dorian scale has a major sixth instead of a minor sixth. What I mean by that is the sixth scale degree is raised by half a step or half a semitone. So for the C minor Dorian scale, instead of playing an A flat, we play an A natural. And this is the only difference between the two scales. The Dorian scale is also another mode of the major scale. This time it's the second mode of the major scale, known as the Dorian mode. Again, if you're new to modes, let me explain. Here is a B flat major scale. The second note of the B flat major scale is C. Remember, we're talking about the second mode, which is why we're looking at the second note. If we play our B flat major scale from C to C, we get our C Dorian scale. The C Dorian scale uses the exact same notes as the B flat major scale. And this is why the Dorian scale is known as the second major scale mode, harmonic minor. Next, we're gonna look at the harmonic minor scale. Here is the C harmonic minor scale, side by side with the C natural minor scale. Again, you'll notice that the harmonic minor scale only has one note that's different to the natural minor scale, but this time it's a different note. This time the seventh scale degree is raised by half a step or half a semitone. In other words, we play a major seven for the harmonic minor scale. So we're playing a B natural in the harmonic minor and a B flat in the natural minor scale. Unlike the natural and Dorian minor scales, the harmonic minor scale is not a mode of the major scale. Melodic minor. 
The last minor scale that we're gonna look at in this video is the melodic minor scale. And just to be clear, I'm gonna be talking about the jazz melodic minor and not the classical melodic minor. There is a difference between the two, but I'm not gonna get into it in this video. Here is a C melodic minor scale. You can think of the melodic minor in two different ways. If we compare the C melodic minor scale with the C major scale, you can see that there's only one note that's different. The melodic minor has a flat third. Apart from that, all the other notes are exactly the same as the major scale. So the C melodic minor uses an E flat and the C major scale uses an E natural. The other way to think about the melodic minor is by comparing it to the natural minor scale. When we do this, we can see that the sixth and seventh scale degrees are raised by half a step, or a semitone, compared to the natural minor. The C natural minor uses an A flat and a B flat, whereas the C melodic minor uses an A natural and a B natural. So we're playing the major sixth and major seventh for the melodic minor scale. And that's why it has this sort of half minor, half major sound to it. At the end of the day, the first five notes of all the minor scales are exactly the same. It's only ever the sixth and the seventh scale degrees that change. And depending on which one of these change, the sixth, the seventh, or both, determines your minor scale. Think of the natural minor scale as your sort of default baseline where the sixth and seventh scale degrees are both minor. The Dorian minor scale has a major sixth, so the sixth note is raised by half a step. The harmonic minor scale has a major seventh, so the seventh note is raised by half a step. And the melodic minor scale has a major sixth and seventh, so both notes are raised by half a step. And that's it. That's the only difference between the four different minor scales. I would strongly recommend learning each minor scale as its own separate entity. It's just gonna make your life so much easier in the long run. You want to try and avoid converting one type to another all the time if you can. If you did enjoy the video today, please drop me a like and remember to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thanks for listening, see you next time.